In this video, I'll be explaining steepest descent method. This is an iterative method and this is also known as gradient descent method because we are going to use the partial, partial derivative. Now, as I've explained in my last video, link added in description, I'll highly recommend before watching this video, you at least uh, get the introduction of the search technique method and what is unimodal function. Here, I want to optimize a function f of x. Say this function is given something like this x1 square plus 2x1 x2 plus x2 square. And for optimizing this, this is a without constraint problem. And suppose that the analytic solution is not possible for this one. So I've explained in my last video the working of the steepest descent method or any of the search technique method. For the working, we start from a trial solution. Let us say I, I start uh, assuming that x0 is my optimal uh, x0 is a point where the function have an optimal solution then i calculate function at this point and based using these two i'll find the another point x1 i'll calculate the function value at x1 and then i will check function at x1 and x0 and their difference should satisfy within a given position criteria so to understand this one for the steepest descent method what how exactly we are going to work so we again look at the working choose initial starting point xi and then we calculate xi plus 1 as i've just explained this xi plus 1 is calculated along the gradient direction so this is xi this new xi plus 1 is calculated along the gradient so xi plus 1 is xi plus lambda i into si where si this is defined here this is actually the capital si only this is negative of the gradient gradient is the partial derivatives of the function with respect to each variable and lambda i is the optimal step length to find the next point so this is calculated as xi plus lambda times minus gradient of f of xi and we calculate the partial order derivative at the previous point now once this is calculated we also calculate here function value at xi plus 1 now this will be a basically a function which will be dependent on lambda i so we'll find out from here what is the lambda i we'll substitute back in the point xi plus 1 and finally we will check at the checking criteria so checking criteria is to find the optimal value since this is steepest descent that means we are going to find the minimum value of this given function so any one of the criteria may be used in the problem either the function value at previous and the next point should be less than or equal to epsilon or the function value minus function value and then take the ratio uh, take it comparatively with respect to the previous value that should be less than epsilon or the difference between the point is very less or the partial derivative at the point that you're calculating at the end is less than epsilon so now working of this let's do that in a particular example so that we understand this now in this question we want to use steepest descent method to find the minimum value of this function f of x1 x2 and this is the given function x1 square minus x1 x2 plus x2 square such that the error does not exceed 0.05 now, instead of this error bound, it may also be given that you perform three or four iterations. So the number of iteration is mentioned. So in that case, we first find the number, uh, we perform as per the number of iteration and then stop the algorithm. Initial approximation is given to us. So let's write what is given to us. We have been given x1. That is the initial approximation. Sometime initial approximation is written as x0. It doesn't matter. We can write in that case x0. Let's calculate function value at x1. So function value at x1 means function at small x1 and function at small x2. This value is 1 and this value is half given to us. When you substitute that in the given function, you know that this value is 3 by 4. So substitute this, getting this value as 3 by 4. To find the next value x2, what I have uh, written the formula in the working x1 plus lambda 1 minus gradient at the previous point so for this we need to calculate what is gradient so gradient of f of x so this is the function find the partial order derivative with respect to x1 and with respect to x2 once we find the partial order derivative with respect to x1 we get 2x1 minus x2 and we get minus x1 plus 2 times x2 now x1 we already know this is 1 comma half lambda is my step length so let's call this as lambda 1 only minus gradient at x1 so find this function value at x1 so when i find gradient at x1 at x1 point so this comes out to be 
3 by 2 0 so you can verify here this is 2x1 minus x2 if I take x1 as 1 and minus x2 that is half so this is 4 minus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 and this becomes 1 plus 2 by 1 by 2 so this becomes 0 so this is the value verified and this value I want to substitute here so this becomes minus 3 by 2 comma 0 so this negative you can take it out so this becomes 1 comma half minus lambda 1 times 3 by 2 comma 0 find this point x2 in terms of lambda so this becomes 1 minus 3 by 2 times lambda 1 comma this point becomes half now x2 depends on lambda 1 substitute the function value at the point x2 when i calculate function at x2 this means the function will be in terms of lambda 1 and this will become a function in a single variable so we will find the value for lambda 1 the step length actually when i calculate function at x2 the function value is already given to us in this you can see this is the function instead of x1 i have to put this value and in place of x2 i have to put this as half so i'm going to use function at x2 this is 1 minus 3 by 2 times lambda 1 square minus 1 minus 3 by 2 times lambda 1 into half plus half whole square so solving this what i get now this is a function of lambda 1 only so for this to find the maximum or minimum value we must need to put partial or uh, derivative or you can simply say the derivative of f with respect to lambda 1 must be 0 because now it's a function of a single variable only so take the derivative with respect to lambda 1 so this gives me 2 1 minus 3 by 2 times lambda 1 into minus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 into half this is equal to 0 now this is a constant term there is no lambda so this term will not be used here you can see this is the term lambda one's constant will come here 3 by 2 and one negative is here another negative is here so i got a plus and from here we got this term now solving this i'll get lambda 1 is equal to half so this is the step length so i've i've traveled half of the unit along the gradient direction so x2 point that we have taken is 1 minus 3 by 2 times lambda 1 and half now we have already calculated the value for lambda 1 substitute here so we get 1 minus 3 by 2 into half comma half and this point becomes 1 by 4 comma 1 by 2 now we already have a point x1 with us which is this one x1 is already available we have already calculated the function value at x1 this is the function value at x1 and with the this process we have also found what is the point x2 this is the point x2 and now i just need to calculate function at x2 so calculating function at x2 this means function at 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 substitute in the original function which is given to us in the problem and we get 3 by 16 so now the last step says compare the function value and if this is within the precision error then we will stop the process so we will calculate function at x i plus 1 minus function at x i and in our case i is value is 1 so we'll simply say function at x2 minus function at x1 if this is less than epsilon then we will stop so what we have calculated function at x2 this value is 3 by 16 minus basically this value function at x1 which value is uh, 3 by 4 that i've calculated earlier this absolute value is not 0 0.05 this is the initial error length given to us and it does not satisfy that means i need to find another point x3 so to find x3 repeat the same process that is x2 minus step length lambda 2 into gradient of f at x2 so x2 we have already calculated x2 is 1 by 4 and half so that is 1 by 4 comma 1 by 2 minus lambda 2 gradient at this point so gradient we have already calculated calculate the gradient at x2 point this comes out to be 0 comma 3 by 4 so let me to recall what was the gradient gradient of f of x this was we have calculated 2 times x1 minus x2 minus x1 plus 2 times x2 so just substitute this value at x2 so here we get 0 comma 3 by 4 these are the point and again we got half sorry 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 times lambda 2 
again we got x3 in terms of this find f of x3 so now this becomes 1 by 4 square minus 1 by 4 x1 square minus x1 x2 i'm just substituting that in the function value this is by 4 plus 2 minus 3 lambda 2 by 4 whole square now this is a function uh, of lambda 2 only so i'll take the derivative with respect to lambda 2 equal to 0 and this will give me the value for lambda 2 lambda 2 is equal to half now once i have calculated lambda 2 i can find x3 so x3 is 1 by 4 half minus 3 by 4 into lambda 2 lambda 2 is half so this is 1 by 4 and 1 by 8 now we find x3 so we will calculate function at x3 so function at x3 is 3 by 64 now this is the completing our third iteration we got the third point and we got the function value so we will check again function value at x3 minus function value at x2 and now we see that this function value so let's substitute this is equal to 3 by 64 minus 3 by 16 and this does satisfy that this is less than or equal to 0 0.05 so this satisfy our criteria so we will say the function minimum value approximate minimum value is 3 by 64 that's the optimal solution we are going to conclude from the search technique method and optimal point will be 1 by 4 and 1 by 8 at this third point that we have calculated so this is the optimal solution by steepest descent method.